today is wash day and these are products i'll be using i have curl hydration by chesame i love them i use a shampoo and a conditioner and then i have shea moisture strengthening restoring treatment mask for my deep condition and then some black castor oil gotta make sure my hair stays <clears throat> and then my demi brush and then a shower cap for my deep condition oh excuse the milk stain just gotta feed the babies but i have natural and my hair has been straight for a month so it's i mean it's not really that bad as you can see like i haven't had any really bad reverting going on um it's staying pretty straight it's not as silky of course because it has been a month but i feel like it held up really well so i'm gonna wash my hair today and um, show you i'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair and probably start tattooing it i only do one um brown tattooing because that's all i really need and i do two rounds of regular conditioner and then i do condition between if i'm in a rush i only do an hour that's if i'm like gonna blow dry and straighten my hair the same day but if i'm not in a rush i let it keep deep condition throughout the night and then the next day i'm gonna go What I'm gonna do is I'm going to wet one side of my hair and let it revert back. And then I'll let you see the other side of my hair. That feels straight. It may take a while for my hair to revert back because when it's straight and so long, you know, it, it just takes its perfect time. I do have patches in the front of my hair that are still gonna be straight because, um, not from heat damage, for the same thing. I actually had a patch of my hair relax this patch right here which i know is really weird but um i wanted to weave and i didn't want like a closure or anything so i trained my weave out it was a personal choice but that was like a year ago so the top of it's gonna curl but that i just don't have the guts to cut it <laughs> um the front of my hair like that. so here are my curls reverting back um slowly but curly i just gonna take a minute for the front because I do have um, relaxed in, but my back is completely natural. As you can see, like it's gone. There's no hair back. Um, as you see, once before, this is my before, and this is my after. So you can imagine how afraid I am when I have straight hair and it rains. Let me see if I can get a little bit better lighting. Turn the curtain up. And uh, so yeah, this is my natural hair color at the top. It's like a dirty blonde. And then I had put a uh, crimson on top of it, so in the sun it looks like it's burgundy, purplish, but it's burgundy. And uh, yeah. So this is the difference between wet and curly. So there's a million videos out there of people washing their hair, so I'm not going to wash my hair on camera. I'm going to go ahead and wash it, and then I'll meet you back in my car. What I forget to tell you guys is that on my second condi I mean conditioning, I go in with my demi brush and I detangle my hair because, um, for one, right now I'm going through postpartum shedding. And so there's a lot of hairs that's gonna get tangled in there and that are shedding, but they're gonna wrap around my curls. And then also because for me, it distributes the um, product evenly. And it may not look like I'm detangling the right way because I'm not. Like, you know how people do the four sections, detangle, twist up. I don't do that. I just brush whatever I get. And the back of my hair is very short compared to the rest of my hair, as you can see. It's because I had an undercut that I'm growing out. And I swear to you, it's been forever. Not really, it's only been like since the last time I got a cut, um, April, the last time I got one cut cut. But it, it seems like it's really short, but it's not that short, it's curly. Um, I finally got to the point where I could put it into my ponytail. So, you know, when I was going, like, you know, through the motions of it growing out, it would just be a hot mess. So, I used to just straighten my hair to match the fact that I had an undercut. And, you know, people are like, oh, you know, you're natural. Why are you straighten your hair so much? Well, for one, it's easier to manage for me because um, my hair is super thick. And it's curly. I wouldn't say it's super curly because, you know, I have, like, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not into all that, oh, 4C, 3C bull because I have, like, five different hair patterns. So I'm more of a questionable C, questionable pattern, um, as you see. And like all this, I know it looks people are like, probably like, oh my gosh, that's so much heat damage. No, this is the relaxed part of my hair, because as you can see, it's only in the front that has grown out. And then the rest of it, I don't have any heat damage or any split ends, because I'm gonna try to cut my ends every month. Um, it took me a good, I want to say, five months to get my hair heat trained, so I only need to straighten it every month, and it's been about that, especially after having the twins. Um, my husband won't let me get braids. No, I wouldn't say let he. Always gets tells me I can't get braids because I always freak out when my hair starts falling out from braids. Um, like if a braid falls out, I take all the braids out. So that's what I mean by get. So yeah, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I'll meet you back in the back. So I'm getting ready to deep condition. And for deep conditioning, all I do is I put my hair into sections and I will apply the deep conditioner in the black castor oil. And then I'll just let it sit under the cap for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And that's it. I'll take the cap off and I'll just wear it wet. Um, for me, it works the best because my hair already holds heat. So um, from washing it in hot water, 
I don't wash my hair in cold water for one because I can't stand cold water. It, um, but also because I found that my my hair holds heat, so when I use hot water to um, you know how people say oh use hot um cold water to seal your hair or whatever blah blah blah. But anyway, I always use hot water because I find that my hair stays hot, so it'll heat the oil. Like I won't have to keep like I won't have to heat my oil up because it'll automatically heat in my head. If that makes sense. Yeah, like you know hot oil treatment. So I'm only gonna do one section and call it a day as far as like on camera because you're gonna get the gist of it it's just a repeat and the next time you'll see me i will be completely finished deep conditioning so i put the black house oil i put a lot on there because my hair is naturally dry so i always put a lot and then i section it into two to three sections um depending because my hair it's not naturally um uh, what's it called Uh, I have low porosity hair, so as you can see, the product will just sit on my hair. So I have to section it so I could get it in there. And yeah, like, this is still the front of my hair, by the way. This is not the back of my hair. Um, I'm really trying not to cut my hair. I love the length of it, but this postpartum shedding is for the birds, okay? Luckily, I have really thick hair because, like, only I noticed it and my husband noticed it, but most people are like, your hair is super thick. This is just on that little bit section. Um... But truth is, like, I've been shedding, so I've been losing a lot of hair. Um, I always had really a decent hair, you know, like, it wasn't really bad, it wasn't really good, it was just decent, you know. Um, but for the longest, I didn't know my hair was curly, because I've been relaxed my whole life. Um, up until adulthood, I didn't first go natural until after I had my third child. Um, I went in the bathroom one day. I had, like, I have transitioned, like, I've had, you know, half curly, half straight, um, for nine to ten months before and then i'll get a relaxer and i found that my hair ticked out a lot better than when i was younger i used to get a relaxer like every six weeks um but like my hair never broke it was always long and healthy it's just when as i got older i started actually loving to do my hair but when i was younger when like i used to literally put in ponytail and let it just mat in the middle so i lost a lot of hair that way um so i make it a point to try to make sure that i keep it together all right like i said i'm only doing one section on camera and then i'm going to um come back when the whole head is done and yeah just a little bit okay so i went ahead and did my mommy makeup as i call it and um got ready for the day so i'm gonna go ahead and take this cap off my hair's been cooking for a good hour or so i'm gonna take these twists out but i'm still gonna leave it in i'm not gonna wash out the deep conditioning because like I said, I leave it in for a long time. And as you can see, my curls are coming back with a vengeance, which is what I want. I just do um, the heat. I mean, not the heat, but I, I wear the shower cap for the heat just to um, reassure that that oil that's in my hair is heating up. And I also just do the twist for an hour while it's wet. So the front of my hair, as you can see, could um form the same curl pattern as the back of my hair and i'm gonna wear my hair like this today i'm just gonna wear it with the middle part and boom my curls um that's how i usually wear it on um wash day because it's for one it's very easy